Hello guys, we continue reviewing the code of Built with Laravel website by Titan, released both as a website and open source on GitHub, so we can learn something from that. In the previous video, we took a look at routes and controllers, and topic of today is Blade components with layout. Now, in the code of Blade file of that project, we see something like this. That Blade file is called from a controller. I'm using, by the way, Laravel IDEA to switch between those. Great plugin for PHP Storm. And in here, you see two examples of using Blade components for the layout and for the data. First, let's take a look at the layout. X public layout is a component consisting of the component class itself and the Blade file. Component class is optional, it may not exist, but in this case it is needed for the parameter of prepend title, and I'll explain that in a minute. And then there's a blade file, layouts public, which looks like this. A huge HTML file with a lot of things for metadata like properties, and here's where it is used the prepend title with inline PHP code to avoid any other global structure somewhere in the controller or in a view composer. This is kind of a debatable thing to use PHP like this. In the blade, the classical MVC would argue that view should not contain the logic, but for this simple structure, I don't mind, because the same variables are used only in the same file, title and description are used below. So this is the layout file, and then inside somewhere we have the main part of that layout file, which is slot. So instead of that slot, we'll have the contents of the blade file, these ones, so this would replace the slot. So in another blade file, for example, organizations show, we have the same X public layout. And here's where we override that prepend title. And this is where that view component parameter works well. And then we have another HTML content inside. If we take a look at the official Laravel docs for layout, there are two main ways to create the layouts in blade in Laravel. Historically, before blade components, I personally have learned the kind of old school way of section and yield. And this is still in Laravel documentation, still usable, so extends, section and yield. But also since blade components were introduced, a bit higher in the same page of the documentation and building layouts is layouts using components. So define the layout component, as you can see here, then we have slot, and then applying the component like this X layout and then slot contents inside. So this is exactly what is implemented in this situation with additional parameter here. Now let's take a look at another example of blade component, this one. This is not a layout anymore, this is X orgs list, stands for organization list, with a few parameters that in this case come from controller, this, and then the main index blade file passes those parameters to the components of orgs list. In this case, orgs list doesn't have any class in the app view folder, it's just resources views components, which has two things. First, the list of technologies in the for each loop with the links to home with technology slug, and then the list of organizations by that technology or without technology if it's a home page. And here we have another blade component inside. So component of orgs list blade, and then we have org in list blade. So if you look at the page itself, the home page, so this main thing is a layout. This part is index blade. This part is the list of organizations is a blade component and each organization is another blade component inside. So this is what I wanted to talk about, the structure of blade components for layout, but also for the data. And then inside of that org in list blade, here you have everything needed for organization for that specific slot. So organization name, image, fav icon, and then the link to the page inside of the organization. So if we click that one, we can see some more information, but it's basically similar structure. So we have show blade for the organization, again, public layout. In this case, we don't have any blade components inside. It's just information about the organization, like name, description, technologies, and sites. This is a typical classical blade language with some alpine at the bottom. And speaking of alpine, I really liked one of the solutions in the public layout. If we go to blade here, in the header we have this. 
a div with some Tailwind CSS shown only in expanded case and expanded is defined here in X data. So this is Alpine JS in action. For those of you who don't know Alpine JS, I have a separate course on Laravel daily and I will link that in the description below. But basically if you need some quick JavaScript like show hide something or expand something this is a very quick solution without any npm install or npm run dev or anything and what it represents what this code does is this asterisk symbol so if i click that all it does shows this notice and then if i click anywhere else again expand it false and it is hidden so this is kind of a side note alpine js in action so yeah what do you think about this structure of blade components would you use it yourself in the same way or would you do something differently let's discuss in the comments below and by the way which layout way you often use blade components or classical with section and extends also let's discuss and finally announcement with this project i will also shoot one more video unless you suggest some more topics then again shoot in the comments below in the controller we have or in fact in the routes we have here middleware page cache so i will talk about page caching in some future video with another project from spotty using different package for page caching so in this case it uses silver page cache so there will be a follow-up on that specific topic so subscribe to the channel not sure when i'm currently working on that topic and will release article and video as soon as it is ready that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos